Why would I choose PC over console gaming? This is one of the frequently asked questions that I get here on the channel, and today I'm going to answer it by just diving into the details. Okay, for starters, you have customizable graphics. You can downsample a 4K image to a 1080p display. So if you have an older legacy OLED TV that you want to use as a monitor or something that was a really high-end 1080p TV like an older plasma, you don't have to upgrade to get 4K visuals. You can literally render at 4K, downsample that to that 1080p display and enjoy. And the same can be said, you can do the reverse. You can then use GPU scaling and then get a beautiful up image to the, the quality of your display. So an example of this that I do regularly, I will take my 1440p resolution and then I will up it to the native display of my display, which is, you know, 4K. I have a 4K TV that I use and I'm able to bypass needing to get a better graphics card. It's just a, a day and night better experience. And then you can also use a sharpening feature that will sharpen the details in your video game, making them look like you're running even higher specifications. And I've compared this to the native 4K resolution and it exceeds what the native resolution is able to do as far as sharpness. It's incredible, right? But not only that, PCs just also generally look cooler. You've got RGB fan lights, custom chassis that you can use. It's a cooler look. I mean, it looks like a lot more fun. Now, another thing that I like is that it's upgradable, so you can swap out things that get dated. So let's say as time goes on, you need a better GPU, you just buy a better GPU. You need more RAM, buy more RAM. Consoles are really annoying because like you have to upgrade to the next box and it's annoying because you have all these systems sitting around your house or you have to store them in an attic or in a cellar somewhere or whatever the case may be. And it's really annoying because it's like you start calculating how much money you're spending in just the new box to play the next new game. And it's really stupid when you think about it. I mean, I've got everything from an Xbox original to an Xbox X right now, not even including what I got from a PlayStation one all the way up to a PS4 pro. I mean, it gets really costly, right? And nobody has room for all of those consoles outside of the really, really crazy enthusiastic gamer. And honestly speaking, I don't want all these consoles around my house. It's just tacky. So I like one size fits all kind of thing. And PC is that man, you just buy the PC, you sit it on the floor, you buy all your games and you're good to go, right? Not only that, but there's unrivaled quality, which is basically like taking off training wheels. The day and night difference that, that made me open my eyes to PC was when I saw Jump Force. Jump Force is one of my favorite games. I love to play it. Some people don't like it. A lot of people don't like it. I love it. I have a lot of fun with it. And Bleach characters in, in specific sold the game for me. And being able to play that at 60 FPS with Ultra on everything is just crazy. You can't get that on console. You just can't get it. And another thing that I love is that the games are just cheaper, right? People are talking about how expensive getting into PC is, and that's kind of a myth as of today. I mean, today's market is so cheap for PC, it's just, that's not an argument anymore. You know, 12 games on the regular consoles cost me $60 all day, every day. I have over 20 of them, so having over 20 of them, if you buy just 20, you spent $1,200. You can definitely buy yourself a high-end gaming PC for $1,200. Well, Steam sales are ridiculous. I mean, you're picking up games for $7, $8, $5, $2, $1. I mean, the prices are all over the place, right? And these aren't even like older, crappier games. I mean, I've bought like Mortal Kombat X, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and the list goes on and on with the kind of newer stuff I got. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I mean, like you could get crazy sales and I just don't see people talking about that enough, even though there are memes all over the internet about it. I mean, like really dude, like, the games do get cheaper during Steam sales. Now, if you were to buy it throughout the year, just regularly, yeah, the games are pretty much the same exact price. But if you wait for the summer, winter, or basically any major holiday sale, I'm telling you right now, it's gonna get crazy cheap and you're gonna lose a lot of money. I mean, like I went into my first Steam sale uh, with a $100 gift card that I had gotten for Christmas. And I walked away spending a lot more than I anticipated just because the games were so crazy. I mean, I started off, I had like maybe like five, or five or six games and now I have 35 games because the games were just that cheap so you know I just kept going back and buying and buying and buying so it, that's another part of it that you just have to think about also there is no online fee as many of you know I was able to just go into my game and do my challenges and get my rewards so you know one of the things I did recently was that Star Wars Battlefront 2 challenge where you have to get the Luke farm boy skin by hitting 25 enemies with the repulsor attack well, yeah, I was able to go online on PC and just do that in no time at all without paying a dime. Or on Xbox, it cost me money. That 
tampers with the experience that you're going to have because now you've effective effectively paid for that skin because you're paying for the online service to get the skin. So it's really irritating. And then of course, I get all Xbox exclusives. So while everybody's talking about Xbox Series X, I've already got all your games. I just played Rise Son of Rome last night, the best it's ever looked. And I'm just saying it's a glorious experience and everyone should try it. Not only that, but Xbox has come out in a recent statement saying that for the first two years, essentially, they're not going to have any exclusives for the Xbox Series X. Anybody who owns an Xbox console will be able to enjoy the games. So that's great news for people who don't want to upgrade. But at the same point in time, it makes the Series X really pointless when I have a PC that is way beyond what the Series X is capable of. Now, I also can play with the controller. A lot of people are confused about this, but I use an Xbox One S controller, the one that has Bluetooth in it. The Xbox One X controller will work as well. And I'm playing all my games on my Sony A8G OLED literally every single day. Like, I don't have any problems. And I think that's one of the things that goes into this whole PC versus console argument. There is this barrier thinking that you need to be a rocket scientist. You need to be a filthy rich guy spending thousands of dollars. They, the components need to be upgraded every year. And that's just not true. I mean, I had, I bought a PC for my wife, like a really budget PC for my wife, like years ago. And she, she didn't need to upgrade until the power supply died. And it was a really cheap, like budget buy a PC just to fuck around. And I'm telling you right now, it, I was able to do everything I needed to do with just that PC. And she was able to do everything she needed to do. So again, you don't have to upgrade. And when you do upgrade, it's a huge upgrade. And most things can be, again, be swapped out when they die. And that's the part about PC that I just absolutely freaking love. Now, that being said, everybody's gonna have their opinion, but I don't like consoles sitting around and always collecting dust because you know every new box is an upgrade right and you're not going to go back and play your old 360 every time when you have a brand new ps5 or something like that and i think that's something to think about now honestly whichever side of the aisle you sit on this is pretty much why i went pc gaming i mean overall it's a day and night better experience and the level of customization is really what's blowing my mind right now i mean seriously i'm pulling off some crazy stuff guys it would blow your mind to see the kind of graphics i'm getting the kind of setups and the settings i have inside my nvidia control panel it's just next level stuff and I couldn't do this on console the day console allows this level of customization would just be the day that console actually steps up to the forefront and starts rivaling PC but until that point they're just a, a man a mandatory like upgradable box like you will always have to pay the developer for the next box I mean Microsoft Sony Nintendo it's just a cash grab you're always gonna have to upgrade and I'm sick of that right just because for the first two years Microsoft isn't requiring it doesn't mean that down the road it's not going to be a requirement. And that's the problem. On PC, you're not required to upgrade. Do whatever you want, as long as you want, until your graphics card literally becomes outdated. Which, on an RTX 2060 Super, I'd imagine would be quite a while from now. That being said, love to hear your thoughts on the matter in the comment section down below. Why do you pick console if you pick console? And why do you pick PC if you pick PC? Thanks for watching the number one brand in honesty, and until the next video, I'll see you guys later.